Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Luna Vay, and today we're playing Disney Streamlight Valley. Keep in mind, this is still an early access game, but with that, let's get playing. Okay, so... Let's go check Scrooge's store. I did take our picture for the Dream Snaps. This isn't the outfit I was wearing. I just changed to it. And you might notice my voice might be a little gross. I've had a bit of a chest cold. So, my voice isn't the best, but... It is what I have, so it's what I gotta work with. <laughs> uh, ooh. That lamp is cool. Do we have that? Oh, we have that? That's cool. Script floor. Oh, Thank you kindly. Um, I didn't play much over the weekends. I did uh -huh. just get on to make our picture, and that was about it. Grab up Scrooge's Bye -bye shop. Huh? And I did plant some more pumpkins, so we had a little bit more Goodbye money. Now. Which, these should be done. We could probably go harvest Hello. those and sell those again. Bye -bye now. Hello. Those are super cute, solely feet. Oh, cowboy hey. boots. Bye -bye now. Bracelet. Hello. That's cute. Whoa. Let's see what's upstairs. Ooh, little huh? hot tub. Bye bye. Uh huh. Bye -bye. Nice white couch. Thank you kindly. Oh, is that the Moana bed? Uh -huh. Yeah. Cool. Bye -bye. Oh, this bed's super pretty. I like that. Uh -huh. Black marble. <laughs> okay. So we could come out here. Actually, let's find our box real quick. Oh, there's a treasure box. Oh, there. Th All right, easy enough. Grab this one. Oh, I'm gonna have to go. I put everything down by my house. I'll do a grab all that stuff. Grab that. See what's in here. Shirt. In here. Head scarf. Grab this. Sword and stone. And let's go back home really quick and grab up all our stuff. Our quests. Place is getting a little overrun. <laughs> yeah, I put everything. Not that one. Uh, this. And that stuff. Okay, so let's go talk to Buzz. Tony filled me in on the situation. How are we going to put Bonnie's farm back together again? Well, I've been thinking. Bonnie made special blueprints that show exactly how she wanted it to look. They're still taped up around the room. Hmm, you mean all those drawings on the walls? The ones on colored construction paper? <laughs> Impressive 
observational skills, Luna. There's just one problem. Some of them are hard to reach. Woody got himself knocked out of the window trying to get to them all. Hmm, I can take a picture of all the drawings with my camera. Excellent idea. Then we'll look at the drawings and recreate the farm exactly the way Bonnie wants. Using all the tools at your disposal, eh? Now that's thinking like a space ranger. Just let me know as soon as you have pictures of all the drawings. Oh, no, we you don't? Meet again. How many do we need? Four? Colored construction paper? Oh, is that one? Let's see. Oh yeah, one. One up here, maybe? Oh, there it is. There we go. Report back to Buds. How did he fall out the window? There wasn't even one over here. Greetings. I am Buzz Light. Excellent surveillance work, Luna. Now we can recreate Bonnie's farm exactly how she wanted it. Mm. Let's see. Yep, Bonnie has big dreams for this little settlement. Her drawings are quite detailed. Of course, we could add a... No, it would never work. What wouldn't work? I was just thinking we could impr improve on this design, but we'd need materials we won't find here in Bonnie's room. Mm. Some flowers, perhaps an adhesive bonding agent. <laughs> I think I know where you could find all of that. Come with me to Dreamlight Valley. Dreamlight Valley? Is that some sort of expensive playset? Or a themed family eatery like Pizza Planet? Er, uh, no. Dreamlight Valley is a new place for you to explore, a place where toys never get put in the attic, the most amazing village in the whole quadrant. Really? Well, if you think it'll have the materials we need to help Bonnie, then I suppose I ought to visit. Go on a recon mission. Just wait here. I'll get a special command command ship set up for you in the village. A real command ship. A real ship? Like in the animated short films Bonnie watches? Will it have a hyperdrive? It'll have a hyperactive hyperdrive. Oh. <laughs> Then I can't wait to see it. I so we're gonna go build Buzz a house. Yep. Buzz is coming to town. Finally. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, F. Where do we want to put his RV? Actually, let's just put it right here. Actually, let's put it right there. Yeah, that works. Hyperactive hyperdrive. <laughs> ah! 
Hello. Oh, Luna, how can I help you today? Buzz Lightyear is coming to our village on a top secret mission. He needs a special mobile command center. Uh. A mobile command center, eh? Well, I think I've got just the thing. If you're willing to pay me a reasonable price for it, that is. 10,000? Hey. Yeah, okay. I must say, I'm looking forward to having the wee lad back in the village. After all, beneath all that molded plastic beats the heart of an adventurer just like me. Ta-da! Buzz's RV! Welcome Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Welcome to town, Buzz. So this is... Oh, where are you enormous? I'm not enormous. You're a toy star. Toy size. Because I'm not a toy. You're not a... What? If you're not a toy, I'm breaking toy rule number one. I was supposed to drop to the ground and pretend to be inanimate. I don't think toys need to do that here in Dreamlight Valley. The line between what's a toy and what's not a toy, and what's real and what's pretend, well, it's all a little fuzzy here. Hmm, well, uh, I guess I'll have to take your word for it. You know, it's the strangest thing. Now that I'm here, this valley seems familiar. Woody and I, we've been here before, haven't we? This place. It was a place where an old toy went unloved and everyone had a purpose. Don't worry, all your memories should start to come back soon. I hope so. This is unsettling. For now, I'll do some surveillance and see if I can get reacquainted. Look, Remy and him are like the same size. They're so tiny and cute. <laughs> Great, I'll go see Woody and we'll keep working on Bonnie's farm. Let's go see inside of... Buzz's RV. That is a cute RV. Nice. Okay. Bell. Oh, Remy was just right here. Where do you get? Oh, we need to fish that up, right? Buried on the beach. Let's go get these books for Bell. Is that the book? Yeah, okay. We gotta fish one up from the dock. Play that gold one. It's funny that it's raining in game because it's rainy here where I live. Oh, <laughs> right as I say it stops raining. <laughs> Bring the books to Belle. Let's do that. Oh, where are you, Belle? Headed up that way. Here's your books. Oh, Merlin's books. Hello. Oh, thank you, Luna. You've found all the missing books. Uh. Now we can return them to Merlin. Please come with me. I'm sure he'll want to thank you. Oh, this is wonderful. Let's do this. Listen to Belle talk to Merlin. Merlin, if you have a moment, there's something I'd like to discuss. An intellectual pursuit, I hope. And what would that be? 
Una and I wanted to help the library. So we found some of your missing books. You did? Why, that's... That's stupendous. I was sure I'd never get them back. Goodness, I must say I'm quite impressed. What is my squirrel doing? In fact, I'd love to invite you both to become honorary Dreamlight librarians. A librarian? Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Of course, you'll have to familiarize yourself with my classification system. Perhaps you can start by finding the proper place for all the books you've brought back. But what if we put something on the wrong shelf? <laughs> Don't you worry, I've cast an enchantment for such a possibility. Of course you did. If you put something in the wrong section, the shelf itself will let you know. Good morning. Go to the Dreamlight Library. Oogie doogie. May I help you? Thank you so much for your help. The Dreamlight Library has reopened and I'm really looking forward to helping with it. Ah. I was able to find the correct spots for all but three of these books. I'm hoping you can assist me. Why? The books are just all over the place. <laughs> it's pile them on a pile. The first one is the sewing book you got from Maribel, Crafty Creatures. There are only three classifications that I haven't tried. I'll care how to tra train your sugar pot and wonderless arts and crafts. It's probably that. I think creature care belongs in wonderless arts and crafts. That was my first choice. I hope it's the right one. Put the book back on the shelf, and nothing odd happened. Merlin told us the library would let us know if we made a mistake. Ah. So I think we got it right on the first try. Now the second book we need to shelve is the one Mr. McDuck borrowed called Coin Pool Theory. Oh. Class classifications I haven't tried are Monetary Physics and Swimming Strokes, Metamorphous for Beginners, and Magic Duels 101. It's probably the first one. Would we'll go in this one. Goodness, do you think the book is about swimming in actual coins? Is that possible? Almost certainly put it on my reading list, but for now, I'll put it on the shelf. Ooh. That was the right shelf, and on the first try, it seems we make a really good team. Now the last book is one I got from Ursula. Cursed Negotiations, Making Better Devious Deals. She said it was very inspiring. The only shelves I haven't tried are Wizard Interior Design, probably not. Magical Contact, Contract Law, probably. And Profit... Prophecies, what could go wrong? Probably the middle. This one. It does sound like a book about magical law, doesn't it? I'll just go see. Ah. That was the right shelf. I'd say we're quite the team. Everything worked on the first try. Luna, you've been such a wonderful help. Thank you. It was a team effort. Oh. Well, I'm glad I got to do it with you. Now that we're finished, I had planned to start reading one of the books in Dreamlight Library. I've made a list of the ones I'm most looking forward to. But while I was placing cursed negotiations, making better devious deals back where it belongs, I found something at the back of the shelf, hidden behind the other books. 
It's a rather mysterious book written in letters I've never seen before. I wonder what it says. Could be the first chapter of a new adventure. That's what I was hoping too. I'm going to try and decipher this mysterious book. I have to know what it's about. Thank you again, Luna. You're helping me find the missing volumes so everyone can enjoy the library. I'll see you soon. That's wonderful. Okay. Let's see. Talk to Woody. I need to do that. That. Let's see. Oh, we just need to go talk to Maui. Let's do that. Maui. Let's see. Where is the Mousters? Here he is. It always says he's in his house, but then watch you go in. And he's not going to be in here. Oh, one time. <laughs> Usually Whoa. he's not in here and you have to go out and then he's like outside. Did everybody like their gifts? What am I saying? Of course they did. They're from me. You mean they're from me. Oh Maui, demigod of the wind and sea, giver of kites. All in a day's work. Mm -hmm. Hey, you did me a solid, pal. Thanks. Oh, and I remember something about the islands. There were more. Specifically... The one just off the shore behind the island with a skull made of rocks was bigger than it is now. I also remember there used to be something important on that island, but I don't remember what exactly. You should go take a look. Pulling islands from the sea is one of my greatest hits. Follow me, I'll show you where I'm talking about. You're the real deal, kid. Oh, Dogi? Where are we going? Skull Island. Hey, what took you so long? Okay, so <laughs> that's where the island used to be. And there is definitely something still there at the bottom of the ocean. Try to fish it out. Oh, okay. Here? Or is it that red one over there? I don't know. We'll try them both. Or not red, orange. Yeah, that's bitch. Usually the quest fishing spots are orange like this. I'm there we go. We got some limestone. You're the real so there deal, was kid. something down there, but what is uh -huh. it? Okay, this feels strangely familiar. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it must be important. Mm -hmm. I'll try to figure it out. If I do, I'll let you know. Yes. Okay. Sunlight Plateau one for Donald. I could not figure that out. So, let's see. Who else can we give stuff to? These are all... I guess I could do that one. Oh, we could go get this one from Vanilla Bee. She's probably asleep. She sleeps forever. Yeah, she sleeps forever. Well, Mickey's right there and he's got something, so let's go talk to him.
Mickey Mouse. Hiya, pal. Mickey, I was wondering if you could help me end the beast out with something. Ooh. Sure, Luna, I'd be happy to. What's on your mind? Well, the beast is trying to work on his relationship with Belle. We wanted some tips on how you and Minnie keep your relationship so strong while also giving each other the space to do your own thing. We live in separate houses, duh. <laughs> wow, that's a great question. Hmm. Well, one thing we do a lot is go on special date nights so we can be together, just the two of us. Oh, the classic date night. Yep. Sometimes if we have a week where we haven't done much together, we make sure to get together and share what we've been up to. Mm -hmm. We've been sweethearts for a long time, but we always want to keep learning new things about each other. Thanks, Mickey. That's some um, great advice for the beast. Ah. Anytime, Luna. Okay, where's the beast? Go away, Donald. I'm not I'm not doing your stuff. Beastie, where'd you go? Oh, it's up in its house. I'm glad okay, I got some great suggestions from Mickey and Maribel. I don't know. Oh. Belle isn't like anyone else. Will their suggestions make sense for her? Okay, that's adorably romantic. Stop worrying. Grouchy pants. Don't want my advice? Uh, we'll go with the romantic one. I don't... Never mind. Just tell me what Mickey and Maribel said. Mickey said he and Minnie have set date nights when they make sure to do something special together and keep learning about each other. That's a very good idea. And Maribel said that sharing food can bring people together. How about we combine those ideas? I do want to be close to Belle. Hmm, alright, I'll try it. You'll see, you'll see, Beast. It'll be okay. First step, let's go see Mr. McDuck. We need to make sure that whatever we have for scenery sets a romantic mood. Thank you. Okay. Can we go see Mr. McDuck? Very nice. Scrooge. I need to give you more of my money. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not click. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. Talk to Hello. me, bro. Talk to me, talk to me, baby. This one. Oh, that's a cool table. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, okay. We'll take... Thank you. Beast better be reimbursing me. Bye bye now. Touch <laughs> base with Beast about the romantic date. He's still in his house. Okay, good. Beast. There you go. Expect compensation. You My are friend. a prince. You could pay me back. Beast, I got some fur furnishings. We're well on our way to showing Belle a magical evening. I don't know, Luna. What if this isn't a good idea? Are you saying I had a bad idea? You're stressing again. Relax. Why wouldn't it be? Just relax. I wish I knew how. What if Belle already has something planned? What if she doesn't enjoy the food? What if she's changed since coming here? Learning new... Learned new things, found new dreams while I'm still... Me. Beast, you're spiraling. Do you care about Belle? Of course I do. And just invite her to dinner. If she wants to come, she'll come. I guess that makes sense. 
Now, one last thing. Where do we set this up? Hmm. Please help. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. There are so many options around the valley. Perhaps somewhere outdoors. Somewhere we can look out into the horizon and think about our time together. What our future could be. Now you're thinking with your heart. You go freshen up, comb your fur, and try to relax until it's time, okay? Now, are there any particular foods that Belle really likes? Well, I know of a few dishes that Belle would often ask my chef to prepare. Here are the recipes. Some of them may require using utensils, which are difficult for me. <laughs> this big ass hands. But I will try. These recipes look perfect for a dinner date. Don't worry about the cooking. I'll make sure they're ready for when you meet up with them. We can meet up again in the evening if the weather is good for out sitting outside. All right, I'll go and do as you suggested. I will try to relax. Thank you, Luna. Farewell. Okay, so we got recipes. Seafood pasta. Gray stuff. <laughs> Rather gray stuff. It's delicious. What was that? Vegetable soup? Okay, let's see. until after sunset on a night with clear skies um we don't got that kind of time let's make the dishes and see if we can just do it <laughs> what do these guys want ratatouille peanut butter and gel peanut butter sandwich and veggie cats ratatouille Peanut butter sandwich. Rat patootie. Ah, oh, we get that. Ratatouille. Um, and a veggie casserole. And then we can make felon piece stuff. Vegetable soup. More like corn soup. <laughs> there was no carrots in there. Oh, we probably may need to make two, huh? Since there's two of them. Yeah. Okay. And then... What was the other one? Oh yeah. Seafood pasta. Perfect. There are two milks. Already? And then the gray stuff. That actually does look good. <laughs> it's just like frosting. <laughs> okay, perfect. I don't have ratatouille stuff. I have your order. Little stitchy. Right, let's go. Money, money, money. Mr. Olaf. Maybe, there we go. 
I have your order. Oh, he's got a mission. Aw, cute little snowman doll. Hello. Olaf. Luna, just who I was hoping to see. How would you like to help me tell a tale that's sure to dazzle all the villagers? Of course, what can I do to help? <gasps> well, I've been searching everywhere for a great story to tell. <gasps> First, I talked to a very friendly squirrel. Then I talked to Wally. Then I talked to Merlin. What did this squirrel tell you? Oh, it made a loud screeching sound and ran away. Though I'm not sure how that story will play with our audience. What did Wally say? He said, oh. He's a machine of few words. What did Merlin tell you? Well, Merlin always knows the best stories, probably because he's magical and also the most aged person I know. He told me all about how you're fighting the forgetting, and I decided that's our story. The Legend of Luna. You want to put on a play about me? That's a great I good idea. I'm pretty great. That should work, I guess. But I'm boring. Well, that should work. Phew, I thought for a second there you wouldn't want the sudden fame that's sure to come with being... The subject of our epic tale. I mean, I'm already the dream light queen. <laughs> okay, I'm listening, Luna. Please regale me with your feats of heroism. Spare no details. Well, okay. It all started when I fell asleep under a tree and... Wait, wait. We can't have story time without a snack. A snack? What are you hungry for? Oh, being a snowman, I don't need to eat. I'm just thinking of you. <laughs> Maybe you could ask Remy. He knows all about yummy food. I bet he'd know the perfect snack for story time. Goodbye! So, okay. Anyways, let's see if we can just put this down for beast. There are so many... No. Uh, I suppose every Well, I don't know how I'm gonna do that one because I film in the mornings. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Who else can we do? She's probably still asleep. Well, let's go talk to Woody. Actually, how many points do I have? Not nearly enough. Jeez, my whole inventory is getting so full of quest items. Anything that's not a quest item. Oh, oh those are quest items. Move down here. See, so many. There we go. Except for my food. We'll leave that. Alright, anyways, let's go talk to... Oh, Remy has something. Oh, yeah. Talk to him for... Olaf. Hello! Huh, so you're looking for the perfect snack for story time. Say no more. When I think of stories and snacks, one thing really pops to mind. Is it popcorn? Mm -hmm. Flickering lights of a cinema screen, <laughs> the smell of salted butter. <laughs> you, my friend, need popcorn. Yeah. yeah. For the perfect popcorn, you'll need corn and butter. Great, thanks, Remy. Wait, wait, wait. You said Olaf will be there? Uh -huh. Well, I know how to make this recipe extra special. You'll want to throw in some sugar king. Oh, and you'll need to get some pure ice. <laughs> That's the secret ingredient. Mm. 
I'm sure Elsa would be happy to help with that. Thanks. Oh my god. Talk to Elsa for pure rights. Where's Elsa? Oh, she's just right down here. In Scrooge's shop. Elsa? Hello, my friend. You're making a snack, and Remy told you to get some pure ice? That's interesting. <laughs> well, who am I to question the master chef? Oh. Here you go. Thanks, Elsa. Why, thank you. Cook Olaf a snack using corn, butter, sugar cane, and pure ice. Okay. Blue popcorn. Sweet frost popcorn. Is Olaf still here? Yes, he is. Hello? There you go. It's your popcorn. And if you don't need to eat, why are you always in the restaurant? <laughs> hmm, Luna, that smells delicious. Now everything's ready for you to tell your story. Regale me. Okay, so it all started when I fell asleep under a tree in the woods. Ah, oh, that's it? That's everything that happened to me since... And that's it. That's everything that's happened to me since I arrived in Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> That's one of the top three best stories I've ever heard, Lena. Ah, oh, shucks. It was nothing. My favorite part was when you jumped into the portal to go find Donald Duck. The valley has so many heroes. And if I'm going to write their story, I need to know every tiny little detail. What happened to Kristoff and Donald's epic adventure? How did... Kristoff survive in the woods the whole time Donald was missing. I must know everything. I guess we could go talk to Kristoff and Donald and ask them. Great idea. Why don't you do that while I start to figure out the first act of the script? Ahem, act one, scene one. It was a night of vicious storms. Wait, no, you said it was sunny. Hands down, <laughs> this is the best day of my life. I think actually, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, I'll try to get on and finish up some of these like crafting and gathering ones so we can get more done tomorrow. I still gotta go find that. I could not find it last time. But yeah, um... I'll get more of this worked on and so we can get more stuff done. We still got to get more Dreamlight points to get the Lion King area opened up. So yeah, still lots to do. But thank you so much for watching me play Dreamlight Valley. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notifications to watch me play more. And I'll play with you again soon. Bye!